1. Introduction 1.1. About FIRST FIRST for inspiration and recognition of science and technology was founded by inventor Dean Kamen to inspire young people's interest in science and technology. As a robotics community that prepares young people for the future, FIRST is the world's leading youth serving nonprofit advancing STEM education. For 30 years, FIRST has combined the rigor of STEM learning with the fun and excitement of traditional sports and the inspiration that comes from community through programs that have a proven impact on learning, interest, and skill building inside and outside of the classroom. FIRST provides programs that span a variety of age groups. FIRST Robotics Competition for grades 9 to 12, ages 14 to 18. FIRST Tech Challenge for grades 7 to 12, ages 12 to 18. FIRST LEGO League for grades pre-K-8, ages 4 to 16. FIRST LEGO League Challenge for grades 4 to 8, ages 9 to 16. Ages vary by country. O First Lego League Explore for grades 2 to 4, ages 6 to 10. O First Lego League Discover for grades pre-K minus 1, ages 4 to 6. Please visit the FIRST website for more information about FIRST and its programs. 1.2. FIRST Tech Challenge. FIRST Tech Challenge is a student-centered program that focuses on giving young people a unique and stimulating experience. Each year, small teams of students with the help of mentors engage in a new dynamic challenge where they design, build, test, and program robots that must perform a series of game tasks autonomously and under driver control. Participants and alumni of FIRST programs gain access to education and career discovery opportunities, connections to exclusive scholarships and employers, and a place in the FIRST community for life. To learn more about FIRST Tech Challenge and other FIRST programs, visit www.firstinspires.org.graciousprofessionalism, a FIRST Credo 1.3. Gracious professionalism is part of the ethos of FIRST. It's a way of doing things that encourages high-quality work, emphasizes the value of others, and respects individuals in the community. Gracious professionalism is not clearly defined for a reason. It can and should mean different things to everyone. Some possible meanings of gracious professionalism include Gracious attitudes and behaviors are win-win. Gracious folks respect others and let that respect show in their actions. Professionals possess special knowledge and are trusted by society to use that knowledge responsibly. And gracious professionals make a valued contribution in a manner pleasing to others and to themselves. In the context of FIRST, this means that all teams and participants should learn to be strong competitors, but also treat one another with respect and kindness in the process and avoid leaving anyone feeling as if they are excluded or unappreciated. Knowledge, pride, and empathy should be comfortably and genuinely blended. In the end, gracious professionalism is part of pursuing a meaningful life. When professionals use knowledge in a gracious manner and individuals act with integrity and sensitivity, everyone wins and society benefits. The first spirit encourages doing high-quality, well-informed work in a manner that leaves everyone feeling valued. Gracious professionalism seems to be a good descriptor for part of the ethos of FIRST. It is part of what makes FIRST different and wonderful. Dr. Woody Flowers, 1943-2019 Distinguished advisor to FIRST, it is a good idea to spend time going over this concept with your team and reinforcing it regularly. We recommend providing your team with real-life examples of gracious professionalism in practice, such as when a team loans valuable materials or expertise to another team that they will later face as an opponent in. Competition. Routinely highlight opportunities to display gracious professionalism at events and encourage team members to suggest ways in which they can demonstrate this quality themselves and through outreach activities. 1.4. Coopertition. At first, coopertition is displaying unqualified kindness and respect in the face of fierce competition. Coopertition is founded on the concept and philosophy that teams can and should help and cooperate with one another, even as they compete. Coopertition involves learning from teammates and mentors. Coopertition means competing always but assisting and enabling others when you can. 1.5. FIRST can only hope to achieve our mission of providing life-changing robotics programs that give young people the skills, confidence, and resilience to build a better world with your help. There are two phrases which drive and motivate the individuals that volunteer their time for FIRST, giving back and pay it forward. Each year, you have the extraordinary opportunity to help create the best ever experience for our fellow volunteers, mentors, and students by becoming a FIRST volunteer. To our team members and mentors, remember that the volunteers you interact with are dedicating their most precious asset, their time, to ensure that all teams have a fulfilling, fun, and memorable competition. Spirit of Volunteering Volunteers are the lifeblood of FIRST, and without them, FIRST would not be where it is today. 
we urge you to remember that gracious professionalism is part of the ethos of FIRST. It's a way of doing things that encourages high-quality work, emphasizes the value of others, and respects individuals and the community. We strive to train each volunteer to always exhibit gracious professionalism. We hope we can work together to create an environment where all feel safe and welcome. Please consider volunteering at local events near you, but know that not all applicants can be placed in all roles at any given event. Please work with your volunteer coordinator and local program delivery partner PDP to help identify the most meaningful way you can help in your region. A complete set of all role-specific volunteer materials can be found on our volunteer resources page. 1.6, Accessibility and Inclusion. FIRST is committed to equity, diversity, and inclusion, and as such, FIRST makes reasonable accommodations for persons with disabilities that request accommodation. If a participant needs accommodation for an event, please contact your local leadership before the event so they can help ensure the accommodation is provided. Local leadership may make exceptions to rules to allow for reasonable accommodation, given the exceptions do not create an undue hardship or cause safety concerns. 1.7. This document and its conventions. The 2024 Competition Manual is a resource for all FIRST Tech Challenge teams for information specific to the 2024 season and the Into the Deep SM presented by RTX Game. Its audience will find the following detail. A general overview of the Into the Deep game. Detail about the Into the Deep playing field. A description of how to play the Into the Deep game. Rules related to safety, conduct, gameplay, inspection, event, etc. Robot construction rules and a description of how teams advance at 2024-2025 tournaments and throughout the season. The intent of this manual is that the text means exactly and only what it says. Please avoid interpreting the text based on assumptions about intent, implementation of past rules, or how a situation might be in real life. There are no hidden requirements or restrictions. If you've read everything, you know everything. Specific methods are used throughout this manual to highlight warnings, cautions, keywords, and phrases. These conventions are used to alert the reader to important information and are intended to help teams in constructing a robot that complies with the rules in a safe manner. Links to other section headings and rule references within this manual appear in blue underlined text with a gray background. Links to external resources appear blue underlined text. For linked references not included in a preview release of this document, the links will appear with the section letter and hashtag for the rules number within square brackets. For example, a cross-link to a game rule before a game rule is released will appear as G and will be replaced with the current linked rule when that section of the manual is released. Keywords that have a particular meaning within the context of First Tech Challenge and Into the Deep are defined in Section 16 Glossary and indicated in all caps throughout this document. The rule numbering method indicates the section, subsection, and position of the rule within that subsection. The letter indicates the section in which the rule is published. The following digits represents the subsection in which the rule can be found. The final digits indicate the rule's position within that subsection. Warnings, cautions, and notes appear in orange boxes. Pay close attention to their contents as they're intended to provide insight into the reasoning behind a rule, helpful information on understanding or interpreting a rule, and or possible best practices for use when implementing systems affected by a rule. While orange boxes are part of the manual, they do not carry the weight of the actual rule. If there is an inadvertent conflict between a rule and its orange box, the rule supersedes the language in the orange box. Imperial dimensions are followed by comparable metric dimensions in parentheses to provide metric users with the approximate size, mass, etc. metric conversions, e.g. dimensions round to the nearest tenths, e.g. 1705 in 40, 4.5 cm. The metric conversions are offered for convenient reference only and do not overrule or take the place of the imperial dimensions presented in this manual and the official drawings, i.e. Dimensions and rules will always defer to measurements using imperial units. Rules include colloquial language, also called headlines, in an effort to convey an abbreviated version of the rule or rule set. There are two versions of headline formatting. Evergreen rules, rules which are expected to go relatively unchanged from season to season, are indicated with their headline presented in bold green text with a leading asterisk. Relatively unchanged means that the overall intent and presence of the rule from season to season is constant, but game-specific terms may be updated as needed, e.g. changing cones to pixels in a rule about what drive coaches may not contact during a match. These rules also start their respective section, so their rule number is less likely to change from season to season. All other rule headlines use bold orange text. Any disagreement between the specific language used in the rules and the colloquial language is an error, and the specific rule language is the ultimate authority. 
If you discover a disparity, please let us know at firsttechchallengefirstinspires.org. Team resources that are not generally season specific. For example, what to expect at an event, communication resources. Team organization recommendations and award descriptions can be found on the First Tech Challenge website. 1.8. Translations and other versions. The First Tech Challenge competition manual is originally and officially written in English and is occasionally translated into other languages for the benefit of First Tech Challenge. Teams whose native language may not be English. These assets are posted on the translated manuals page. A text-based English version can be provided only for use with assistive devices and not for redistribution. For more information, please contact First Tech Challenge at firsttechchallengefirstinspires.org. In the event that a rule or description is modified in an alternate version of this manual, the latest English PDF version, as published on the Game and Season webpage, is the authoritative version. Team updates. Team updates are used to notify the First Tech Challenge community of revisions to the official season documentation, for example, the manual, drawings, etc., or important season news. Team update posts are scheduled as follows. Every other Thursday beginning on kickoff day and ending two weeks prior to first championship. Team updates are posted on the game and season webpage and are generally posted at 1 p.m. Eastern. Team updates are indicated using the following formatting. Additions are highlighted in yellow. This is an example. Deletions are indicated with a strike through. This is an example. 1.10. Question and answer system. The question and answer system, Conda, is a resource for teams to ask questions about gameplay, competition rules, judging and advancement, robot build rules, and field setup. Teams can search for previously asked questions and responses, or pose new questions. Questions can include examples for clarity, or reference multiple rules to understand the relationships and differences between them. The Q&A opens on September 16, 2024, 12 p.m. ET. Access to the game queue in a forum is through the Lead Coach Mentor 1 and or Lead Coach Mentor 2's account on the first dashboard. Follow the instructions on how to create an official Q&A account. Teams may still create a separate view-only account to read the forum. The Q&A may result in revisions to the text in the official manuals which are communicated using the process described in Section 1.9 Team Updates. The responses in the Q&A do not supersede the text in the manual although every effort will be made to eliminate inconsistencies between the two. While responses provided in the Q&A may be used to aid discussion at each event, referees and inspectors are the ultimate authority on rules. If you have concerns about enforcement trends by volunteer authorities, please notify FIRST at First Tech Challenge at firstinspires.org. The Q&A is not a resource for firm predictions on how a situation will play out at an event. Questions about the following may not be addressed. Rulings on vague situations, challenging decisions made at past events, or design reviews of a robot system for legality. Questions that are overly broad, vague, and or include no rule references. Some examples of questions that may not be answered in the conda are, how should the referee have ruled when this specific gameplay happened? Duplicate questions. Questions clearly defined addressed in this manual. Good questions asked generically about features of parts or designs, gameplay scenarios or rules and often reference one or more relevant rules within the question. Some examples of questions that will likely be answered in the Q&A are, a device we are considering using on the robot comes with purple AWG 40 wire. Does this comply? With R and R, we're not sure how to interpret rule G, applies if blue robot A does X and red robot B does Y. Can you please clarify? If a robot does this specific action, is it doing what this defined term is describing? Questions from FTC 1000 represent content asked by key volunteers, e.g. referees, inspectors, answered by first, and are considered relevant to teams.